to my channel keto with sammy for today's video we have an awesome delicious breakfast recipe today we're going to making this keto mcgriddle casserole it's the perfect sweet and savory a couple ingredients that you can just throw in one dish and you have yourself an easy breakfast so let's get straight into the video all right guys so for our ingredients today let's go ahead and get started you are going to want one pound of some ground sausage this is just the original flavor for our flour replacement, we are going in with some almond flour. You're going to want some regular salt, one stick of some unsalted butter, baking powder, one teaspoon of vanilla. For our sugar replacement today, I am going in with the Swerve Brown Sugar Replacement, or you could use any other brand that you prefer that is keto approved. Three large eggs. I have two different syrup options here that you could use. I'm going to go in with the Birch Bender Syrup. It is sweetened with the monk fruit. It's only one net carb per two tablespoons. Keto friendly. I did find this one at Kroger and it doesn't have any hidden sugars like Circulose. It is sweetened with the monk fruit. But if you cannot get your hands on this, you could also go in with any regular sugar free syrup. It doesn't affect you, but if you have cut back on hidden sugars like I have, then I would go with this one. But this is my favorite brand. I get this at HEB or Kroger, the Maple Groves Farm Sugar-Free Syrup. But remember, it does cir contain circulose, has the hidden sugar, so I would have in moderation. So these are just two options that you could choose from your syrup. And these are all our ingredients for today. First step we are going to get started with, we are going to start browning our ground sausage. I'm going to go ahead and add in my sausage to my heated pan. And you're just going to simply cook this through and break it apart. If you can, you want to get it nice and fine. You don't want to leave like any big chunks. So I recommend one of these. These come in handy. They break apart ground beef or any sausage and get it nice and fine. I will link one in the description below for y'all to check out. Okay, once you have your ground sausage nice and cooked through, if you have too much grease, you do want to drain it off to the side. But you are going to leave your cooked sausage here and we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, now we're gonna move on to making our pancake batter for this McGriddle casserole. So you're going to want any blender or food pro processor will do. To our blender, we are going to take two cups of our flour replacement, which is almond flour that we are using today. I'm gonna go ahead and level this out so we get two cups exactly. Go ahead and add it to your blender or food processor. Just like this next ingredient you're going to want to add is your baking powder we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder to our almond flour one teaspoon and half Next ingredient will be our Swerve Brown Sugar Replacement. We are adding in one tablespoon. Give it a little sweetness, just a little dash of salt. We're gonna go ahead and start adding in our wet ingredients. One teaspoon of vanilla, one stick of melted butter, which is eight tablespoons. And last ingredient for our pancake batter will be our three large eggs. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and give everything a good blend and get this nice and smooth. If you need to, you can scrape down your edges if you are using a fruit processor and then keep on blending.
Okay, once you have everything nice and mixed together in your blender or your food processor, it should be a nice thick consistency. It should look just like a pancake batter. Now we're gonna move on to the fun part. Let's go ahead and bring out that casserole dish. Okay, I have my casserole dish. I did spray it down with some non-stick spray just to ensure no sticking. This is an eight by 11 size casserole dish. Now you're going to take your pancake batter and pour it to the bottom of your dish. Okay guys, I have my pancake batter poured. Now this was totally my mistake. I forgot to add our syrup to our blender. Like how can I forget? That is the best part, right? So either add three tablespoons of syrup to your blender when you are blending these ingredients up. But in my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and add it in right now to my batter and I will go ahead and mix it in. Three tablespoons. I don't know how I forgot my syrup. That's what makes this a McGriddle, right? <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix my syrup in, or if you did blend it in the, bl the blender, go ahead and just flatten out your pancake mix into your baking dish. Okay, I got my syrup all nice and mixed in. We're gonna spread this out evenly. You wanna to try to get it as even as possible so it can cook evenly and flat as possible. You don't wanna leave any big lumps. We have our pancake batter into our casserole dish. Now you're going to take that delicious cooked sausage and we are going to pour it right on top around our casserole dish. Oh my God, this smells so delicious already. We haven't even baked it. That sweetness coming from the syrup and then you just add that ground sausage on top. Oh my God, McGriddles are one of my absolute favorite foods growing up, of course, when you get it from McDonald's and it's just the fast food heaven. It was so good. So now that I can make a keto version, it is even better. Now you wanna get your sausage, we're gonna spread out evenly and you wanna slightly push it into your pancake batter just so it sticks. You don't wanna bury it underneath. We want it sitting on top. Just a very gentle push down. All right, just like this. Now let's go ahead and get this delicious casserole baking. You want your oven preheated to 350 degrees. I went ahead and put my casserole dish in my oven. You're gonna bake at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. You just want the top nice and golden brown. All right, y'all, after cooking in the oven, this is what it should look like. You want your batter nice and cooked through. Now, even though we wanna dig right into this, you gotta let it cool for about 10 minutes because if you cut into it too soon, it will fall apart. Okay, after you have let it cool, we are going to slice right into this deliciousness. I cannot wait. I like to cut mine up in squares, but you cut it how you like to. Go ahead and give this a good lift from the bottom. And this is what you should have. It should have a nice spongy consistency, just like a pancake would. Your sausage, those crispy edges are my absolute favorite. We're gonna go ahead and put this on a plate and we're gonna top it off one more time because we are a little bit extra and we like that extra sweetness. So this is optional. You can just add a little bit more syrup on top just to top it right off with that delicious sweetness. Once you have your syrup on top, that's it guys. Dig in and enjoy. Let's go ahead and give this a little taste test on camera because I cannot wait to dig in. We got the little crisp crispiness from the sausage right on top and then you dig into that soft pancake middle with the syrup. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Look at this, absolutely delicious. I cannot wait. Mmm. Mmm. You got the sweet and the savory. Mmm. I absolutely loved McGriddles growing up. So this definitely hits the spot. This deserves to be on this Sunday breakfast rotation. So I really hope y'all enjoy this easy recipe. 
for you and your kids. Your kids will absolutely love this. I know my kids are going to tear this up. I really hope y'all enjoyed this easy recipe. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next one.